Hi, I'm Buck, your personal tour guide to the Federal Reserve. I'm here to introduce you to one of the most complex but effective institutions in the United States. But don't worry, I'll explain it all in plain English. Just beside me is a road map of where we're going. Together, we'll walk through the Federal Reserve System, literally. And along the way, I'll show you just what goes on around here and why it's important. By the end of this tour, you too will be able to explain the Federal Reserve in plain English. There is no ag other agency of government which can overrule actions that we take. There is no ag other agency of government which can overrule actions that we take. There is no ag other agency of government which can overrule actions that we take. That would effectively be a takeover of monetary policy by the Congress, a, re a repudiation of the independence of the Federal Reserve, which would be highly destructive to the stability of the financial system, the dollar, and uh, our national economic situation. Uh, we don't, the Federal Reserve does not own any gold at all. We have not owned gold since 1934. <laughs> All our lives, we've been told that economics is boring. It's dull. It's not worth the time it takes to understand it. And all our lives, we've been lied to. War, poverty, revolution. They all hinge on economics. And economics all rests on one key concept. Money. Money. It is the economic water in which we live our lives. We even call it currency. It flows around us, carries us in its wake, drowns those who are not careful. We use it every day, in nearly every transaction we conduct. We spend our lives working for it, worrying about it, saving it, spending it, pinching it. It defines our social status. It compromises our morals. People are willing to fight, die, and kill for it. But what is it? Where does it come from? How is it created? Who controls it? It is a remarkable fact that, given its central importance in our lives, not one person in a hundred could answer such basic questions about money as these. So if you were planning a family, you'd want to know where babies come from. And this is a lot about banking. So let me ask you, where does money come from? Where does the money come from? Where does any the money... The government prints it. It's printed off. Where does money come from? How is new money created? By labor. People work and, and produce wealth and that... And the money is supposed to match that wealth. Where does money come from? Well, I have a pretty different outlook on money. It actually comes from, like, trees, right? But why is this? How could we be so ignorant about a topic of such importance? Where does money come from is a basic, childlike question. So why is our only response the childlike answer meant as a joke? It grows on trees. Such a profound state of ignorance could not come about naturally. From the time we are children, we are curious about the world and eager to learn about the way it works. And what could lead to a better understanding of the way the world works than a knowledge of money, its creation and destruction? Yet discussion of this topic is fastidiously avoided in our school years and ignored in our daily life. Our monetary ignorance is artificial, a smoke screen that has been erected on purpose and perpetrated with the help of complicated systems and insufferable economic jargon. But it doesn't take an economist to understand the importance of money. Deep down we all know that the wars, the poverty, the violence we see around us hinges on this question of money. It seems like a thousand-piece jigsaw puzzle just waiting to be solved. And it is. The puzzle pieces, taken together, 
create an image of the Federal Reserve, America's central bank, and the heart of the country's banking system. Despite its central importance to the economy, relatively few have heard of it, and fewer still know what it is.